So this is a game called Roadkill. The tough guys who came to kill, but stayed. To <laughs> so, so yes, this is um, empowered by the Infernal Engine, and it has some really cheesy cutscenes and voice acting. So, that was a Vinny laugh. Yeah, it kind of did sound like me a little bit. Um. Anyway, this game, well. It seems, like, really bizarre, and this was going to be a Sunday stream thing, but we're doing it during the week. I want to show you the trailer. This is the trailer. Prepare for the ultimate mission-based car combat experience. See, now that is DMCA. I would like to welcome you to Uncle Woody's Fun Park! Oh, you messed with the wrong what? Starting today. What more could you want? <laughs> okay, I don't think we can do this for very long. I hear that cowbell, though. Gotta have it, baby. More than 30 different missions to experience. So this was still the time where... Then pick up some weapons. If you can handle that, I might have another job for you. Amazing. This was a time where uh, road road combat, vehicular combat, was still very popular. At your disposal. Try to survive. Yeah, it looks like twisted metal. Chaotic missions. Do we understand each other? No. I don't think you do. Destroy your enemies and four-player death. Match. They removed the vocals, but they kept the low harmonies of "Don't Fear the Reaper." That's kind of weird. And respect don't come easy around here. Unleash destruction with your own gag. You get the idea. Let's let's actually let's play some roadkill. And if I like get sick of this, I could um, just show you the cutscenes. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> I can't get I can't escape it. DMCA all over. Well, if you wonder why the VOD is missing, it's not the karaoke version. It is not the karaoke version. They they really got their money's worth. They're just using this in the trailer, they're using it in the intro cutscene, they're using it everywhere. I'm just gonna talk over it. Seasons Don't Fear the Reaper. It's a good song. I like it, but you know what? At the same time, it is a very, very litigious, copyrightable song, and that's the problem. I don't feel like talking anymore. Don't fear the reaper. Twisted Metal Black got painted black from the Rolling Stones, so they were like, don't fear the reaper for this one. Oh my god, that's awful. Natural human movement. There's no government anymore. Don't fool yourself that it still exists. It still exists, I promise. Okay, it's gonna do guitar solo now. <laughs> Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you please take me home? You need to add a constant noise to overlay over the DMCA music so you don't need to drown it out yourself. Will be our final transmission. The fate oh, that's a good idea. Rest in God's hands now. I like the skeleton lad. Same song, but upside down. I think even if you reverse a song, they still fucking find a way to claim it. And now AI reproductions of songs, like not even songs, but like an artist that is um, 
If it sounds like an artist created by AI, they can take they can take it down. Uncle Woody's Fun Park. We got rides at Uncle Woody's. We got booze at Uncle Woody's. We got the hottest hookers around. Come right on in and look at them. We've got dirty hookers, cheap, naughty, any kind of. Oh, you wasn't with the wrong bitch, asshole. Shut up. Oh, that's what she was saying in the trailer. You must be the new guy. We got that too. Yeah, the name's Mason. Good. You can shack up down the street. Look at these haircuts. Oh my God. Meet me later. We've got a job for you. So come one, come all to Uncle Woody's Fun Hat. Your name's Mason. Amazing. Right? Yeah, last time I checked. All right, smartass. Cape sent me to show you around Lava Fall. Let's get a move. There's, there's like a weird, the like tunnel. delay. There's like an input delay. What other um, songs are DMCA in this game? Did I just run over a granny? There's an edgy talk show radio you can listen to. Because, you know, it's Frank and Vinny Gear Talk Radio. Whoa, 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 Frank and Vinny. I like to take a lot of duct tape, right? I get a hook of the ugliest hook I can find, and I duct tape hook to the roof of the car. Right? And then I drive around. When I do my victory lap, I drive real close to the outside wall, and all the people in the front seat get to slap it right in the face. Really what? hard, too, because I do like 60, 70 miles an hour. It oh, works. Fuck. The, the fans dig it. The fan, they, a lot of them tell me, they said, that's why we come. We come to do that, and we come to watch you guys wreck cars and whatnot. And You're you, always the crowd today. Oh, easily. You know what I don't like, Vinny? What? I gotta be honest, I'm tired of all these naysayers who are all bitching and moaning about the highway systems. Oh, uh, so I'm tired. It's the same song over uh, and over again, you know? It's like, uh, you know, some old lady humming happy birthday. It's so and weird and hearing my name in this. I'm hearing it, you know? I'm tired of hearing it. People, you gotta understand that the highway is a great right now. It's so edgy. Right. Forget about jumping on top of a building. Uh, cancel that. What do you think they're gonna build like uh, car elevators? Oh, oh, car elevators, huh? You get that one little bump in a row to get about eight inches off the ground. You're gonna think you, you know, some spectacular guy. Doesn't work. Boost the rate, the audio of the radio. I don't. Them like they are, okay? Unless, of course. Let's leave them like they are, okay? Unless, of course, you're saying let's fix them and translating the word fix means ramp, then I agree with you. That's totally Get different. If I were designing a highway system right now, hands down, bar none, I would build the roads exactly because I would make some of the ramps bigger everywhere. Well, people don't know what they want. They keep saying, oh, they're too wow. bumpy. Oh, they're too bumpy. Your name's Mason, right? Yeah, last time I checked. All right, smartass. Cape sent me to show you around Lava Fall. Let's get it's a move really on. cool dead end you got right there. Which, the, it almost seems like that's the way you have to go. You see the name of the station? Nope. Nope. I I do not have the mental capacity right now for that radio station because you know it's going to be awful. You know it's going to be real spicy. And I just don't have the heart to even laugh at how terrible it is. So let's just get DMCA instead. Are these real music? Oh my god, I can't 
believe I'm talking to you two. Go to okay, the blue I'm points? Oh, I thought I had to go to G. Well, I've been talking to some promoters and some agents about this, and it seems possible if the drugs come through. Yeah, baby. It's gonna be a party all night long. The chat is more interested in this than they are the game, and that's fine. All right, here, we'll just lower that a little further, and I'll raise the overall. Oh, baby! Okay, so I've heard a lot of things, and I just wanted to know the truth, okay, you guys? Why did you guys really retire? Ah, well, the road eventually takes its toll on you. Different city, same hotel, and the girls started getting correct. Where are these cars coming from? Holy shit. Honey, would you like to hear a song? Yeah, could you guys play the Rod or Death Match by the Fuzz Brothers? Oh yeah, Rod the Rod of these guys. How did they get the license to any of this stuff? Any of it? Oh, this is this is trash. Stop just shooting a rocket launcher in a tunnel. There's that fucking tight like tiger sound effect. This is probably gonna get nice and claimed. Back and relax with a couple of beers. But not just any old beers. Beer Goggles Light. Beer Goggles Light is a refreshing blend of hops and barley brewed by people who know that beer serves a purpose. And that purpose George Costanza? No, that's not him, is it? Sleep with pretty much anyone. See, Let's head over to the Rex the and Light have the local riff the brand that can hide out from Axel and set even the biggest the guy women. that run so Paradise City. Uh, that's him. That's him. That's him. All you can do with me and Frank do is take a keg down to the Overeaters Anonymous meeting and party down! No, sure, it's not him. The beginning of the day, we were is it him? Sitting in a parking lot with a herd of hoggers, but by the end of the day, we're drunk and having sex with anorexic supermodels. Thanks, Beer Goggles Light. So don't just sit there. Grab a Beer Goggles Light and get the slap in the fat back. Beer Goggles Light, the light beer for a heavy night of partying. You're damn right. All right, I'm here with my co-host, Vinny. Vinny, you had an exciting night last night. Hey, what do you say? You know I did. All over town. I'm in and out. Oh, my Bars, God. hopping, throwing down cans. Yeah, did you get lucky? Fucking top, why Hey, can't? every day I wake up, I'm lucky. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Well, we're lucky, we're lucky we got our own, uh, our own radio show here, you know. A lot of people work in the business of the industry, and they, they never get to do it. And here, what, we're two individuals that get to talk about is. cause all the time. Hard? That is like a blessing. I Honestly, think? you know, uh, ratings came out yesterday. Did they? How we do? Congratulations to the Gear Talk Radio Station 96.2. We are 32nd uh, in all talk radio. I know. This is fascinating. We went from 116th to 37th. That is amazing. That is good. Guys, hey, hand, hand, a round of applause for the crew. For everyone, everybody. Listen, they sound like the Jerky Boys. Hey, baby! Man, I could use that. You know, I, I thought you couldn't go in there anymore. They said I was obscene to the mayonnaise. How could you be obscene <laughs> to the mayo? I mean, I understand being obscene with the mayo. Legally, I still can't talk about it, but I will <laughs> say that I was under the impression and Look. thought the donkey was fully sanctioned and licensed. But donkey? I can't talk about it. No wonder, huh? Call Anal right view now, five, apartments. Five, five, four, three, two, seven. What do you say? Hello, boys. Not you again. Okay, listen. I just have a story for your contest. Hey, get him, Larry. <sighs> One time, I was driving, and my camshaft froze up. So I had to manually lube it by hand, and it was hard. Okay, first off, my sweet little mangina. You can't freeze up a camshaft. <laughs> what is and this? Then I lubed it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 96.2 Gear Talk Radio. 
All the lines oh. are lit up, so uh, we're just gonna take a random one. All right, caller, you're on the air. Call her. Chat, this was you on there? the GameCube. Yeah. You know, one time I was in this dude's car giving him some oral support. All right. I, when all of a sudden, I bam, like we got up and got hit by this tornado. Oh. <laughs> but this dude started It just doesn't stop. He didn't know that was a tornado. He just thought I was doing him real good, like, you know, <laughs> jawboning him all oh, special, like. I'm sure jawboning? So when we landed. I got to charge him a hundred dollars extra for the tornado head. Shit. I went and got my hair. <gasps> you, my sweet, are a vision of beauty. Vinny, you know what? Uh, I think we got to win. Stop saying my name. You're telling me. You mean I won? That's right, my precious. You are the winner of a free gear supply of water snack burgers. Compliments of Gear Talk Radio. Oh, I'm getting all flushed. This next stop is a place called Wet for Well, my sweet. This is insane. So, Nintendo was like, you know, this is fine. Right now, I'm gonna give you boys some complimentary jawbone. Well, you better take your teeth out because I got a big cock, lady. What the fuck am I listening to? This was on the game. <laughs> this was on the GameCube? What, can, is this really on the GameCube? No, I just can't believe that this is in a game. Be real nasty and good. Well, hey, all right. I'd say today's our lucky day, huh, Vin? Hey, you said it. It's like scratching up lottery, thinking underneath there there's no money, but there's a BJ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, everybody's a winner today, huh? <gasps> Vinny, I'm gonna give you a free T-shirt. Oh, please stop I can't saying wait my name. Get down here and give me some of that vicious ass tornado head, cause I, you know, I, personally I've never had it. Interested? I've read about it in books and magazines, and I've seen a few clips that had it in it, but never, never on the receiving end of one. So. I'm ready, you know, you could consider my crotch a storm chaser. That's brilliant. All right, 96.2, we got to take a tornado head break because I got to get my boys ready. Hey, wait, <gasps> up, guys, there's some tornado head coming this way. Listen, this Stop saying it. They keep saying it. Gear talk radio. I wonder if we could mic a jaw. We get a strong <laughs> guy on that. You know, for years, people have been using banks to cash their checks, oftentimes having to deposit it and wait days until the check clears. This is but insanity. I, time. I need my money now. What am I gonna do? Well, you could wait two days until the bank trusts you enough to give your money back to you, I... or you can walk down to Boing, your check cashing solution. Good timing okay. on that Boing. What if I have an out of state check? You that's got not Jason Alexander. That's, that's just people this Boeing can't cash dude who's doing the edgy talk. Them. Radio oh, show. Really? What about an out of state check that's two years old? Touching cashed. And I have no identification. Touching cashed. And I have a criminal history. It's a good thing. You know, a lot of times when you're in a war situation, you got all those body bags. And, and that, that costs a lot of money. All right, Mason, this, this next place is really important. Because, I mean, so let's go check out. I, the I had tears in my eyes for that, Nobody, that last one. For that matter, you could pile up all the homeless people and make like a little homeless people shelter. Now, granted, the stench is going to be pretty bad. Oh, what hey, is this? If it's raining, it's better to smell a little stinky than be wet. You know what I'm saying? And I really? think you do. I think you do. You're living in a little homeless, little homeless hovel, if you will. I mean, I think that's a great thing. Now, granted, you know, some of them are not going to have legs and feet, but that's fine. You know, you can figure that out. Maybe that's oh. like a door. Maybe use that for a door or a window or maybe a shutter, something like that. Maybe a little hey, platter box out front. I don't know. You know, I've noticed a lot of homeless people are kind of hairy. It's unattractive to me. So what you do is you shave the homeless people. Sheer oh, they took shit. GTA and went further. Itself. They, they just told like people to just be blanket. insane. Now, granted, you're going to say, hey, this sweater or blanket's probably going to smell. Well, once you wash it, it's probably going to be okay. I think, actually, the stink is held in the hair. And since homeless people never wash, getting rid of the hair will make them smell better. Once you wash the blanket or sweater, it's going to smell better. And God, God damn it, what's taking you so like long? Get your ass you know back here and bring the new guy. I've got a job for you. About it. Why don't we leave them their eyebrows? So if they sleep on their faces, oh. they're going to have a nice little eyebrow pillow. Because, I oh. mean, let's face it. I mean, those are like two giant caterpillars on their face they're not very good about grooming you know what i'm saying last but not least we had the tornado what if we have a flood well I wait a tornado story. we create a homeless person levy we tell all the homeless person they have to sleep in a line all right well that line in essence is our levy all right let's say we see the weather forecast and there's going to be some a rain event if you will we say hey here's some bread Chat. we we drug the bread this is one of those times where if you could see my face, like the utter 
shock and confusion on my face right now. Go, they land their little line. And we're going to lose some homeless people because a few of them are going to drown, the ones on the bottom. But the ones up the top will live, and that'll be our next level of our levy. It's a very good idea, and, and it would make my home dry, which I think is a good thing. We'd lose some homeless people, but we'd all stay dry, and I think that's the important thing. Don't you let them die, keep us dry. Let them die, keep us dry. It's a perfect solution. These are just my thoughts on what to do with the homeless. If you agree, hey, send me a letter supporting me on it, and we'll try to... Look, I'm trying to be reasonable. I just can't Best come writing up with in all of gaming. I don't care. I have to answer to Uncle Woody, and that means you and answer voice acting. to me. I'll be paying you a visit and bringing along some friends this time. I'm sure you still remember my friends. Yeah, yeah, I remember. We're through. I'll see you tonight. I'm trying to be reasonable. <laughs> oh, and send in a new guy. I, I, I need to look this up. Okay, roadkill. You here for business? Are you here for game. pleasure? Business. Passing through my way to Paradise City. Heard you were looking for help. Huh. Paradise City, is it? Nice. 2003. Nobody. GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. Mate. And respect. Don't come easy around Terminal here. reality. I'm not here to ride the sit and spin, pal. Well, usually Uncle Woody runs this show. But he's busy right now. They also so made Blood Rain. Do me a favor. Go over to the Palace Hotel and pick up any scrap you can find. Then pick up some weapons. And if you can handle that, I might have another job for you. Freak. Connect Star Wars. Ghostbusters the video game. You know All right, saying? we gotta go pick up the scrap first, like so head to the Palace stuff. Hotel. Hey, it's next to the to four star. More power to you. Give me Terminal Velocity. Next call. Yes, hi, Stu. My name is Jack, and I am very, very hostile towards you right now. Although, I'm not going to lose my temper on the air because I don't roll like that. I represent a group called GAS, Gentlemen Against Stu Pickles. And we are currently Stu boycotting Pickles. your little show. Wait, from we Rugrats? We don't have to listen to it because we got to know what we're going to boycott, right? But I just wanted to use your radio time and let everyone out there know that they should absolutely stop listening to Stu Pickles and his little communist show that he has manipulated people with for years. Oh, what? communist. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, well, you know what? We, you live in America and you have a right to give us your little opinion, as stupid as it is. But, you know, I, I, I can't believe you. Man, things have changed a lot in 20 years, haven't they? Organization. For better or worse. I'm not even sure. I don't know what's happening Boy. anymore. The regime is coming. The uh, I will say this, though. Someone in chat said chat is acting like this isn't satire. I think I, I'm not. The problem is this. I think it's just crazy shit for the sake of making people like laugh while they're like driving around because GTA was so popular. I don't know how much of this is quote unquote satire. This is just crazy shit being said for the sake of crazy shit being said. But then again, I'm not the dev, so I don't know. You call people names all day long and you never say you're sorry. You just think it's okay, and I hate that about A lot you. of the radio stuff You're is just improv. Yeah, just crazy shit it's for the sake of crazy shit. You didn't need a reason. I mean, look I'm at the movies sad. from the time. There was... I'm happy go lucky. I'm a jolly Freddy got man. fingered. You don't sound like that. Oh, I don't. Well, maybe you don't listen to the right parts of the show. Gosh, you're so opinionated. If I... Girl, what the mother boy say? Yeah, okay, great. Hey, how do you guys think Ralph's gonna take this? I mean, he's pretty sensitive. I'm a little worried about him having some abandonment issues. Well, I personally would smother Ralph with all the tender loving care I could muster. I... If I knew what I was getting myself into, I would have found a way to face cam this, just so you could see how... Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here... Like, my eyes wide open. There's like two and a half hours worth of radio. Let's head over to shoot your load guns. Shoot your load guns? Let's shoot his priest. Shooting at me. That's why I just I just love this weapon. I I, I can't I can't say enough about it. All right, next weapon we're gonna talk about here is the laser mine. You know, there's nothing 
that I like better than actually laying down a laser mine. There's something, there's something manly about a laser mine, to be honest. It's very sexual, you know. You get <laughs> Is it I like sexual? To lay laser mine down in, like, say, an alley. You know, you can do it anywhere now. You could lay a laser mine on a major independent highway, or you could lay it down in an alley. It doesn't matter because once the guy drives through, it's gonna blow him up. And most of the time, what it'll do is it'll blow him up and it'll lift his back tires completely off the ground. And as we all know, unless you've got a front-wheel drive car, that car do, do you see going like just how Advantage people are just shooting each other constantly? Mine. Simple as that. You know what else I like about the laser mine? It's very similar to the mag mine. Ah, in the minigun, a personal favorite of mine. That baby and really tears shit up. You. Looks like there was a wee bit the of trouble last night. The gauchos left go one of our own for the seconds. scavengers. Go return the right. favor. Give you, those bastards something to talk about. You heard the man. It's payback time. Somebody It's the hoe bag. Oh. Perimeter, if you will. All right, then. You know what? I tell you what. The first person to come by my studio with a bloody gas t shirt ripped to shreds. It's a free copy of us and a copy of my book. How does that sound? You know, I just want to take a minute here to talk about one of our sponsors for our little show here. Harry Sachs Barbershop. Why, why wouldn't it be Harry Sachs Barbershop, though? It's giving 50% discounts to the listeners of the Stu Pickle Show. Now you're asking Oh, Stu Pickles has got a radio show in the universe. I thought it was Rugrats Stu Pickles. That's how. Harry Sachs knows you want to do If you want to make a name for yourself and get Uncle Woody's attention, anybody's attention, that's the way to do it. The other one. You know, a lot of people ask me where I get my haircut. The answer is always... Raised your Harry reputation Sachs by Barbershop. killing rival gang members. Right now, Harry Sachs has a shampoo, trim, style, and wax any area of choice for only $40. Until I met Harry, I couldn't go near the beach. But now with my new haircut and back wax, I can swim with the rich and elite. So remember, Harry Sachs Barbershop, where they'll cut your hair anywhere. Tell them Stu sent you. Is this, a, is this map smaller than it seems? Yeah, this is really... T is this the whole game? No, right? Like, this isn't the entirety of the game. This is just the first map. Okay. I'm Stu Pickle. I'm here on the Stu Pickle Show. Boy, we're got some great topics today, so let's get right to it. Stu hey, we got another caller. Come you on. think they chose the name Stu Pickles on purpose? I just beat the crap out of that guy. Do I win something? Oh, you certainly did. You got a book and a coffee box. Hey, you guys want these T-shirts? You know what? If you can got bring toes? Did you see that ad said got toes? Station. Yeah, hey, listen. Hold on a minute. There's a couple guys trying to run out back. Hey, Stu, you want me to bring one of them up alive? I'll duct tape to the hood of my car, and you can beat the crap out of them. Sure, bring him down. We'll do a couple rounds. You go first, I go next. Whoever gets the highest score, the guy screams loudest, gets a t-shirt, something like that. I don't know. You're the prize guy. If you got a tire iron, I'd like to hit him over the head with that. All right, will do. I'll call you back. Great. Oh, man. That is some fun. He spotted us. Run him over. I mean, that, that's a special moment. Wow. I have a feeling people are going to know. <laughs> There's going to be an influx of searches for Roadkill Radio on YouTube. You said something earlier about putting bombs on people and blowing them up. Well, I think what we should do is we should bomb everyone, right? Well, you see, we go down to Lava Falls or Blister Canyon and we put a bomb inside everyone. Maybe in their abdomen or in their head or, hell, I don't know. I'm not a surgeon. So we put these things in there and uh, Axel, you know, he's got all the launch codes or the detonation codes or whatever. And say someone breaks the law, they don't got to go to jail. Nobody's got to go and find them. Nobody writes a okay. warrant. We just push a button and blow them up. <laughs> Not cost effective, my friend. Not cost effective. Think about the price you're putting on that. You got to have a search. I feel like there is a, you know what? I will concede to the chat. There's attempted satire. Maybe it's on a level that I I don't understand because I'm a little dumb. So then you have to touch every single person there. Put it. There might be some. Some of it I think is just like crazy shit, just to say crazy shit, and then some of it might also be a little satire. Like GTA was more satire, even if there was also just crazy shit for the sake of it. That's not gonna work either. Basically, what you want to do? He's taking off. Kill him. That's what I've been trying to do. I've advocated this a long time now. Now, granted, it's not a popular thing, but I think we should just wipe them all out. Now, granted, there has to be weak. There always had hey, nice work back, back there. You really yeah, taught you those guys a lesson. Bad. When you're That's ready, what, let's head back to the, the bar. Bring to the mix. Suck. Bring that to the mix. So I thought that was just going to say suck. But I did. Yeah, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. But your little idea, first of all, you're saying push a button? Yeah, you know, like a detonation.
activation button or something. Think about how many buttons you would have to have. That's ridiculous. Oh, uh, what if, uh, let's say, I, I technically, you, uh, that you had one button and they were all. Yeah, I'm just trying. Poor girl. Wait. Look, honey, it's a normal thing. You're just right. I'm sorry, but Blake's right. This isn't gonna get any better. <laughs> just let him squeeze them as much as he wants, and he'll tire of them soon enough. Okay. Thanks. Squeeze what? Squeeze what? Let me tell you something. One thing I can't stand is a dirtbag that can't keep his fucking mouth shut. Lesson number one. Never let anyone outside the family know your fucking business. Especially Uncle Woody's business. This scumbag tipped off the gauchos. They're waiting for him over at the parking garage. Want you to go there in his place. Warn those fucking tricks. No, I don't ever want to see you again. Do we understand each other? <laughs> no. I don't think you do. Oh! That's Purple. a real nasty slice you got there, pal. Oh, yeah, the fucking guy moved, though, didn't he? Two. Honey! Kate thinks you'll need someone to watch out for you, so I'll take over the turret gun from now on. Next caller. Hello. All right, Mason, be ready for this guy. I'll light him up when we get close. I'm always Oh God, no. Next caller. Wait, 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 what, 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 what? Did he talk? What did he just say about masturbation? I don't know. Probably six years now. But I'm telling you, that place just drives me crazy, man. Get him on the phone. I'm listening to the radio. Can you stop talking? Now, Blake, don't be that way. Well, I wouldn't. Caller, what's your name? What do you Blake. want drugs? Blake, let me ask you this. Are you considered a handsome man? Uh, no, not really. Would you consider yourself a wealthy man? Uh, that's negatory. Do you have the wherewithal to take a young lady out on a nice three-day weekend down to Lava Falls for, say, some non-committal shopping sprees, long oh, nights of endless me. gambling, or the occasional four-star treatment at a day spa? Oh, I just love the day spa. What's a day spa? Ooh. Okay. My oh, advice uh, to you, Cletus, would be to just have a little more food. I speak from experience when I say that a girl can't be Stop shooting. having crazy voodoo monkey sex in the champagne room. What? It takes time. She has to feel comfortable with her customer before she can let her inhibitions go. You know, to feel free, to just go wild. Just to know that the champagne room is real, and it is a truly magical There he is, waste him! This game is such shit. Thanks so much, Kimberly. No problem, that's what we're here for. Oh, and if you see Trixie over there, tell that bitch she still owes me $200. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, Kimberly, you little love you. I'm just as God made me, honey. I'm just. The, the, this is just it. The fun never ends. Okay, caller. You're on here. Uh, yeah, hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, no. Uh, see, I, I can't use a public toilet. No. No. Where is this going? Where is this going? I think I know where it's going. Start. Oh, uh, about four years ago. All right, is it a fear or a thing? Where's it going? I'm, I'm afraid I could get something. Like what, a trout? No, he means like a sexually transmitted disease, right? Oh, yeah, is that possible? Yes, it is, sir. You can get many STDs from the toilet seat and the door handles of a bathroom. I got all mine from blowjob. <laughs> uh... Bathrooms are spotless, though, really. You could eat off of them. Once again, Blake, you have left me speechless. Why, well, thank you, Kimberly. Caller, you should probably only leave the toilet in your house or at work. Or get yourself some toilet covers. Okay, well, I hope we helped you. I learned something. What? Don't have sex in a toilet. Okay, Kimberly, I have one of our friends on the phone. Hey, get him, later. <sighs> Sick on the highway.
So he hits my mind, boom. And when, when he's up in the air and he can't peel out or turn around or hit his brakes, I light him up, and that's that. He goes in the air, when he comes down, he is a caucus. The grand prize winner. All right, well, that pretty much does it on the mines. I hope uh, everyone learned something. I did. I'll tell you this, for a guy who thought he knew everything, I learned quite a bit today about mines, you know, and I, I'm not going to overlook them in my next weapon selection. Laser mines, mag mines, concussion mines, concussion mines. And the debt mines. Exactly, the debt mines. They're awesome. They're great. So Again, I'm just that. speechless. Don't be afraid to call us anytime you want. 96.2 Gear Talk Radio. That does it for the mines. Exciting, informative, innovative. Also, if you maybe have uh, some information, maybe a question that we didn't touch on here today. Yeah, this is just jerky voice voices. Don't hesitate. Drop us a line at P.O. Box 2357-4918, Paradise City, zip code 3. Don't be afraid to call us at 555-4327 or the letters G-E-A-R for Gear Talk. All right, we got some exciting things going on today. I'm going to take the next caller. That body that is just attached right to the car. Now. Caller, you're on the air. You have a comment or a question? Uh, hey, guys. Yeah, I was just uh, calling in to say I love the show. And uh, I got me a tornado over here and a flat cannon on the front. And I'm just driving around. That's the third time I've heard the word tornado. <laughs> hey, <you> know, <laughs> and I can't, I can't stop thinking Both about the lot. first no, time no, I heard it. If it makes you happy, then more power to you so i don't think that we should judge you i think uh, to be honest if i wasn't cooped up in the studio right now there's a good chance that i'd be tanked driving around in my blade and you know barbecuing a few everything is ready baby i told them exactly what you said all they need is a time and a place oh, dear God. that's a girl uncle woody's such a fuck stick me and chino are gonna run this show soon <clears throat> How embarrassing. Oh, yes. All right. Go pick up my car over at the airport. Get it repaired and then bring it back here. Nice cans. Sounds like a fun mission. With my dashboard hibachi, you know? Oh, yeah. And if you start questioning why things happen... Be on the lookout when we get well, to the airport. The gauchos gonna are going to be pissed you know when they see us much. on their turf. People will want to kill you. Now, you don't want to end up like that, do you? Oh, hell no. So so here's my advice to you. For the Just record, I, I had no are. idea what I was getting myself into with this. <laughs> this is and insanity. People as you can, and you'll be all right. All right? All right, thanks, Stu. Hey, no problem, my friend. Hey, we got another caller. Come on. Hey, uh, Stu, this is Frank. Frank Stevens. Hey, Frank, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. Uh, I just got a quick question for you. Would you ever want your kids to go into politics? And if you did, would you vote for them? Well, you know, of course. I mean, they're my kiddos. If they came to me and said, hey, Daddy, I want to I wanna go into politics, well, of course, I'm going to vote for them. And not only that, I'm going to put bumper stickers on my car. I'm going to put signs in my yard, hold political <laughs> rallies for them. I, I do everything I can for my kiddos. You know, I want my little children to do whatever whatever they want to do, but, you know, I've given them some good guidance. As a matter of fact, they're at a little uh, Republican camp right now. Oh, it's a great little place. And, and if you haven't sent your kids there, I suggest you do, because they learn all kinds of stuff. I mean, I mean, let me just read some of the things they learn. I mean, they learn how to we make a dry every... martini. They learn how to fix elections, how to wiretap a hotel room, how to blame things on others, how to get into an Ivy League school on a C average. I mean, that's great in itself. I mean, they learn all kinds of stuff. They learn how to style a political haircut. You know, how to make a minority feel special. And, you know, how to blame somebody else for something they did. I mean, it's they're going to change. They're going to be a perfect little kid when they come back. That just sounds great, Stu. They learn how to do everything. Ah. I mean, in fact, they do press conferences where they say ah. a whole bunch of stuff, but they actually never say a thing. I mean, perfect example. Just the other day, I went up there to take Tommy a sweater because it gets cold up there at night. Walked up there and I said, Tommy, son, how you doing? And he looked at me and he said, no uh. comment. Then his little sister Vanessa walked by and said, sorry, no more questions. And walked him back to his little camp. Uh. Oh, it made me so proud. What a good little Republican. They're teaching those kids great things. What would you do if they said <laughs> a liberal ticket? <laughs> Stu's son is Tommy. I would, do. I would kill them. Rugrats confirm. I would put my kids heads underwater until they were dead. That's oh. what I would do. What would you do if they ran on the grassroots wow. or green ticket? I would not hold their head underwater as long. I would, like, make them have some permanent brain damage, and then I would let them come back up for air. But what the fuck? 
Uh, hey, let's continue. Hey, yeah, that's interesting. I want to thank you for taking my call. Hey, no problem. I'm gonna send you a, a coffee mug and a disposable uh, stew pickle napkin. Okay. You sure that this was 20 yeah, years ago? Well, I gotta tell you something. I got a, I got a letter right here. Yeah, I, I mean, attempted satire is one way to put it, <laughs> chat member. What about you? Here, I'll have another kiss you. Yes, well. Every yeah. Yeah, no, no, chat. We, we've run the have gamut with this one. We, we've got of any kind? Say everything. Jelly or everything that you, you need is here in this game to destroy a chat room. This is truly... I, see. I don't even well, know... Do you I, love like, this girl? Do you? Huh? Well... Define love. I don't even yeah, know who's gonna get mad at it. Like, who, really, who's who's supposed to be mad at this game in 2023? I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh no no! no it's just everyone's pissed off. I think it's just everyone. Or no one. Or no one. Tolerant model, so to speak. Or what about a totally different model altogether? Blake, why does it always have to be about you? Because I'm a goddamn oh, diva, that's why. Color. Yeah, maybe everyone. May I ask, what kind of car you drive? Yeah, I drive a metallic gray, fully customized blade with velvet interior, and a fully functional web bar in back. <laughs> really? And um, what do you do for a living? No, I, I don't work. I'm independently wealthy. Holler, we're gonna have to put you on hold and get some more information. I'm confident we can resolve this problem with a little more personalized attention. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. No, no, get up thank there. you. Blake, make sure you get his number for me, okay? Get it yourself, you naughty little kitty. Well, while Blake is getting <laughs> more game. information, don't forget that later on in the show we'll be talking about one of my favorite subjects, fetishes. That's right. Oh, the last time oh, we covered this yep. subject, we just got an enormous response from our listeners. If it feels good, Generally, I say that's the way to go. Okay, Blake. Did you get that information for me? You'll have to fight me for it, sweetie. Fight oh, you for it? Favor that dog. All right. Well, that's just like the time I went to fashion camp. Really, Blake? You went to fashion camp? Four summers in a row. That's how I learned to tap dance. I remember old Mr. Dance Happy. That's what the campers called him anyway. He was a wise old soul. And could he go to town with a bedazzler? So you used to go into the woods to learn fashion. What are you crazy? A bunch of divas in the woods? Oh, oh I no, did it. No, I didn't. So you were How the fuck that? did I get up well, here before? I was ugly, and room service didn't have sushi. Did you get a degree from this camp? No, I did not. It seems some of the camp teachers were jealous of my ideas and some of my thoughts. You were a singer? No, I was a crooner. Oh, I guess I could just go this way. Wow, I feel like a dumbass. I'm paying more attention to the insanity on the radio than I am the game. What kind of things did you come up with? Well, my first year at camp, we had a spring formal, and everyone had to design their own wardrobe. Oh, how exciting. I nearly peed myself. So I remember Man, thinking, this guy's bloody golfer, shit. because I was really into this golfer up. guy who used to play near the camp. Oh, your first camp crush. This is starting to get romantic. Well, I got him drunk one night and oh talked God. him into going skinny dipping. How did you do oh, that? I forgot to tell you, I had a wee bit of trouble with the Sentinels last night. Line. That's why I ditched the car at the airport. They oh, made me thank out thank you God you did, this dude spoke over that. Figured out I was not a woman. So I swam to the shore as fast as I could and stole his clothes. Like a big gavy seal. It was so exciting. Hey, I was what? Like a young, back to car, let's head over to the shop and get it fitted with a nitrous so, tank. Did you go that to the should help us out. Gavy seal? I used some of the fabric from my little golfer friend to make a parka. Uh... Arca. Eskimo golfer with such a hot look at that time. I look back at my old photos and just scream. What were we thinking? Well, as yeah, this, know, this Blake, game is just designed to upset fan. everyone so in the year of so our Lord. Supportive. And to show my gratitude, I made this for you. Oh my God, Blake, you shouldn't have. What is it? What do you mean, what is it? I'm just joking. It's a... Toaster sweater. It's a sweater I made for your toaster. It's a leather toaster sweater. Couldn't you just die? Why would I need this? It makes your toaster. Maybe you should donate this to one of those S and M pancake houses. I suppose it should be displayed. Those exist. You know, nitrous is one oh, thing, but there's the another little trick to get the same. I'm Leonardo da Vinci, or that guy who cut off his ear. What was that all about? Okay. <sighs> uh, all right, I've had enough. The guy who voiced this person 
has only this as a voice role and nothing else. Nothing else, according to a chat member. Is so, too, too many? so what did what did you do? You were in the industry? Oh yeah, I was in I was in one game. Well, you should you should send over that game. You should send over you know so, some of your work. Nah, I'd rather not. Meanwhile, she is Lucina. Wait, wait, wait. The person who- the voice actress for his co-host is Lucina from Fire Emblem. I was rounding up. Rounding up that. Coffee, more like it. I, I, I said with That's three, Laura three Bailey. This year, oh. I feel dirty. Caller, don't worry. If you're dirty, then Blake here needs a shower. Sure, whatever. Work is if work. If I need a shower, then someone should hose you down outside, you skank. You could- <laughs> <laughs> Tires on a car. This is get me going. Okay, don't be when I pull up into the pit. Don't be sitting there tanning it up and drinking. You know, turn the margarita machine off. I tell you what, if the margarita machine needed tires, that thing would be running good. They put a spoiler on that bitch, and one of the gauchos was up on the front screaming like a goddamn siren. You know, looking at him, I'm not surprised. Yeah, but uh, so that would be my advice. My advice: locking lugs or find a new parking spot. You know, get a garage, uh, get a car alarm. Hey, there's one right there. You can hotwire straight off the battery with wire. You jink it up against the back of the lug nut right there, right? Huh. And so when someone were to touch your tires, they're going to get 12 volts straight up the booty. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, people do it all the time now. You're going to have problems when you blow a tire. You're going to get a nice little juice on you before you can fix it. But hey, just take it down to Earth Women Tires. Those guys, they won't know. Oh, oops. Hello, my name's Mac. How you doing, Mac? I'm doing good. All right, hey, uh, you, you, are you drinking? No. We interrupt this broadcast for a late-breaking weather report. Lava Falls is under a thunderstorm warning. Please remember to be very careful when traveling. Hey, savages, oh. tell your rain god to back the fuck off. This is Heath Holy McElroy shit. with another late-breaking weather report. It is how much <sighs> this trike way. Uh, I would guess probably about 175 million pounds. All uh, right, so I'm guessing about four pounds there. But the only problem is uh, by putting weapons on a trike uh, is if you have, like, let's say you put a scatter gun on it, right? Well, how, how do you fucking separate. fix this? Uh -huh. You launch that thing off, and you're going to find yourself six feet into the next building. It's going to launch you backwards. All right, there's problems with that. You're going to have to figure out how to how to get around that. It's already fixed. Apparently, the wheels were broken. No, it's not. Um, it looks if it was fixed, it's now broken again. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Yeah, chat. I don't. I don't know how much more of this I can handle, honestly. <laughs> what? Did, what did you say? All right. Real dialogue. Absolutely real. All right. Listen. Human speech. Troublemaker. We had a fourth golfer tonight, but she got knocked around. The gaucho that did it is pumping us out of business. He fucks with us. We fuck. We fuck with him. He has a shipment of booze coming in for his nightclub. I want you to drive over to the club and wait for that shipment to arrive. And when it does, I want I want, I want you to destroy all of it. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Drive over to the funhouse when you're finished. Uncle Woody wants to meet with you. <laughs> Looks like you're moving up, mate. <laughs> All right, girls, time to figure out which one of you little trollops gets to party with Uncle Woody tonight. Oh my. What say oh. you give us a taste then? Oh, no, I like it all over my chest. Oh, God. Uh, did you hear the door close sound effect? Postman will come by and we drop this him job, on I'll let you do, man. I know how much fun you had. Some really interesting, uh... Shop. Cousin Vinny, he pee on him. Hello! And so, yeah, needless to say, we didn't get any more post guys over the house, so we Cousin haven't got bills forever. So my dad was very oh, happy geez. about that. We did make him drop all the subscriptions to the porn mags, though. Yeah, we got those. We made sure we had to go down and pick those up. Pay dirt! You know, Mac, I gotta be honest with you. It's very exciting to see that the youth today, uh, 
Interested in weaponry? Well, it looks like someone has decided right, to dude. crash a party on Of course. Him. Of course. You know, hire the interns down here, Mac. You know, you come down and work for us. Sit away. Go. All right, listen, you come down. The address is P.O. Box 2357-4918, Paradise City, zip code 3. I'm jumping on my white white now. I'm on my way. I'll see you in two weeks. All right, all right. Hey, that was an exciting call day. You know what? It, it is it's reassuring. It is. When you get a phone call like this, you know, it gives you faith in the future. Yeah, you know, just when you thought, you know, that things are going downhill, you know, everybody's killing everybody. <laughs> right. Then you get a call like this, and it, it makes you kind of sit back and really go, you know, there is hope that... You're listening to the Soup Pickle Show. Next caller. Hey, Stu. Yes, you know, sir. Oh, I love your show, first of all, and uh, there's a lot of people, you know, we get together a lot, and we listen to your show as a group, and uh, then afterwards we sit around and we discuss it, uh, and, you know, you right now are a really big mainstay in my household right now, and I, I got a question, because uh, a lot of people, we've been talking about this on the street, and uh, would you... Would you what? <laughs> boobs? Or have you ever considered running for, for this job? Office? I'll let you do uh, you know, the shooting. I, get that I know how much fun you had blowing the hell out of weeds. I am not a leader. I do not want to run anything. I'm more of what you would refer to as an educator. I like to give my views and spout the knowledge I know. If you could do that on radio, which you you know where that's going. And I tried to push him back in, but he died. Well, okay, yeah, Chad, it's it's pretty much yeah. I, as you cycle through the stations, uh, it's just like it becomes expected. You just get numb to it. Stop! Really? And he took my phone privileges away. Your phone privileges too? Yeah, like it was the worst three weeks of <sighs> my life, my entire life. Like I just stayed home crying my eyes out and doing my hair. Sounds familiar. Oh, honey, did you get stood up by Bastion again? I don't want to talk about it. Blake, you really have to talk to him about this. This is like the third time this week. I know, but what can I do? Oh, honey. Oh, but no, not really, because all wives were a bunch of bitches, right? Plus, with the wives not around, there's really no voice of reason, you know? Well, actually, it's like being set free, you know? Because once we got single, man, it was like winning That's the fucking okay. lottery, man, you know? Because we just wake up, drink some gin, smoke a big fat... <laughs> you like my boobs? <laughs> I'll try one more time. One more time. For this job, I'll let you do the shooting. I know how much fun you had blowing the hell out of weed. No, it's very easy to be shit-faced all day. It takes a little practice, and I know it sounds intimidating, but if you don't let it overwhelm you, you will get wasted. Well, we try to help our fans by showing them how dedicated we are to the recording process, and I think it shows them. Dr. Ruxo, the rock and roll clown, I do cocaine. So we decided to start a campfire in the hallway, right? So we're throwing gasoline in it and a hotel. Well, it like there, someone right? has decided so to thrash a party on. We kill him! We were able to record our first album, that motherfucking hotel burned down, man. Which is the fourth our breakout album. I had never heard that story before. That's, so that's all I had to do. That is all I had to do. Where did you get that title? Well, this bad Good game. We kept knocking on a hotel door and we wouldn't let her in, man. We didn't have enough food. Well, eventually, man. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming oh. for the following late-breaking news report. Earlier today, violent gunplay was reported in the vicinity of the backdoor nightclub. Onlookers have testified that the deadly squabble was between two rival gangs, the Daredevils and the Gauchos. Two Der Kleinschlanger beer transport trucks were also damaged during the incident. What? A service will be held tomorrow for the lost beer. May God be with them. <laughs> news on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillivray. Sixty-six point six W I L D. 
Jesse's girl. They got Jesse's girl for this? You know, I think it's perfectly natural for little kids to want to put weapons on their trikes, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, think about it. You don't go out and buy new sneakers without getting new socks, you know, a whole new outfit, right? Figures you would what? see some garbage like that. You belong in the trash can. See, now, you need to calm down because you're coming off all huffy-puffy, you know, you're getting all hoity-toity there. You know, I don't think you know the reality of the situation. You know, there are people out there strapping weapons to their car and blowing everyone up here. You know what happens? You know what happens to people who don't have weapons on their car? They get blown up and killed all the time. I, I just want you to know that I'm I'm gonna start Mothers Against Car Weapons and I'm gonna petition it and take it to council so that you guys can talk about this stuff on the radio. You'll never have a show again. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, we're getting protested by MACWA. Call us up with your opinions. Uh, hopefully, the, they can't take us off the air. We will not be intimidated by Mac. Bring it on. Bring it. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that she didn't say that uh, it was the parents' fault. Yeah. Why would they make that tunnel? I don't know. <laughs> New character unlocked. Well, look what we have here. I found him nosing around the park. Get him out of there. Bring him inside. Let's hear what he has to say. Hello? Anybody running this freak show? Heard that so, sound effect a million you're times. A new guy I've been hearing about. Come over here. Let me get a look at you. Discount Sweet Tooth. America's know Choice Sweet about Tooth. These guys. Not anything I want to remember. Well, the friend of this piece of shit drove off in one of my trucks. I want you to chase him down and get my goods back. Make sure and recover all the cargo. <laughs> Stevie a tooth. <laughs> to and I don't really care. But when someone starts snooping around in my business, I'm gonna start snooping around in theirs. <laughs> hey, scumface, what are you looking for? Don't think that keeping your mouth shut is gonna save your ass. <sighs> These animations. The proportions of that dude. <laughs> yeah, that was a Half Life 2 shotgun sound, which I guess was not Half Life 2 specifically. He's the one there standing there saying, Yeah, my kids are putting weapons on the car as opposed to saying, Hey, I, I, I don't let them do it. I'm not worried about town. restrictions or punishments. Right. Right. Certainly not exactly. What I would do, honestly, I'd say, Listen, you kids can't have it on your car. And if they disobeyed me, I go in there with a white phosphorus grenade and light them up. Damn, Always does the trick. That's what I'm saying. You know, a little discipline, you know? You gotta spank your kids. Some people spank, some people light them up with a, you know, a point defense charger. That works. I like okay. to tell them uh, dinner's on and then spray the floor with the oil discharger. That's funny. No, no, I remember last Thanksgiving, no, no. I come over to your house and you're sitting there and you're giggling and your wife brings out the turkey and we're all sitting around and I'm really hungry this by this time, you know, because I drove there and got shot out the whole way. I finally get to your house, your kids are running around like a bunch of monkeys and I'm sitting there <laughs> saying, hey, all right. where's the stuffing? And you start giggling even harder. Boom! A light rocket goes off inside the turkey. I thought that was brilliant. Your yeah. kids were crying and they didn't understand why the turkey exploded. And you just well, sat there giggling. The it was so hard to keep that a secret because I knew that was going up soon. It's a good thing you quit drinking. Yeah, well, uh, you know, ever since that accident with the surface to air missile. That's true. That's true. How those stitches end up? Well, uh, they, I, they got taken out early. I got a big scar. Yeah, your eyebrows grew back, though. I always wanted to do a TV show okay. where you You're take you take a four-year-old baby, <laughs> right? Oh, From no. Every walk of life, you know, you got them all. You got yeah. a melting pot of baby, right? Okay. Take him and put him on a big mountain somewhere in the jungle. Okay. Leave him. Leave him. The last one standing gets a million dollars. That is a TV show I watch. They're making tents out of diapers, you know. They, 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 you know, the ones that just play all day. Well, they're not gonna last. Survival of the fittest. Yeah. You know, one of the guys, you know, he sits over there and he's the only one that's potty trained, so, you know, he doesn't have to sleep in his turd. You know, that attracts animals and whatnot. Sure. I would pay to see that. Toddler, okay. you know, island or something like that. One of them better learn how to make steroids quick. That's true. Because they don't have a chance, you know. They could get eaten by, like, a squirrel. Oh, yeah. You know, I think they're a nut or something like all that. Right, Tuck them up right. in the tree. You never find the guy. Watch out for the blue crabs. Yeah, this you know, so I, I would insane. do that, though. I would watch it. It'd be fun just to watch them cook. You know, because, you know, they're, at that age, they're all about I'm fire. You know, they, they'd like the fire, the food would be cooking, and then one of the kids would grab the matches and burn down the village. Hey. 
Just, just cause. And then he denied he did it. He said, I didn't do it. And he did. We got you on tape. Busted. You did it. That's some other survival kid. You know, that's not me. Prove yeah. it. You know, can you imagine being on an island with eight kids? No. I wouldn't need it. Vinny, the guy that does the voice of Vinny is called Mark Orvik. Apparently, he was the writer of the game and said that all the radio show is just pure improv. He said it in the top comment of the YouTube video of the radio show. Meanwhile, here I am thinking that anyone associated with this game just no, never no, wants this game to be dug up no, ever again. They always ask those stupid questions. You know, why is the sky blue? Right. You know, uh, you know, how come birds? Well, like the gauchos, for example. That Hello there, Blake and Kimberly. I love the show. Listen all the time. Thank you. What's insurance? your name? Please. Call me Dave. Well, thank you very much, Dave. Did you have a question or did you just want to tell us how wonderful we are? Because we don't mind that at all. all, right, all no, right, I think I'm still in love with my old high school flame, and I wanted to know if you thought I should contact her. Oh, that's a tough one. Well, do you know if she's still single? <laughs> I'm really not sure. You need to find this out before you try to contact her. This could really backfire. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how or what to do. Well, try going over to his work and dress up in disguise. That way he will never know it with you. You're kind of like the undercover lover. That sounds fun. Okay, so you guys think That's I ethical. should go over to her work. I know I would. Stop you don't want to confess your love till you see him. I agree with Blake on this one. I mean, what if since high school she ended up looking like a troll or something? Dress up as a delivery man and drop off some office supplies or something. Whatever straight people have delivered, you know. If you really think that this woman is the one, then you owe it to yourself to find out. I'm so excited! Run to her, Dave. Run. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you guys so much. I'll call back and let you know how it works out. You wanna bang me like a piñata? What did you say? You <laughs> figured it out, huh? Carbon monoxide. I can't. I can't do. I, they're talking about carbon monoxide now. Okay, I, I think. I, I think I'm done. Roadkill, PS2 soundtrack. I just want to see what songs are on this game soundtrack. Rick Springfield, Jesse's Girl, Blue Oyster Cult, two songs, uh, Burn It For You, Don't Feel, Feel the Reaper, um, Fog Hat, Slow Ride. These are like big songs. Leo Sayer, When I Need You, I don't know that one. King Cobra, Great White, Judas Priest, Foreigner, April Wine, Judas Priest. So, I mean, that's just the rock station. It's one of the rock stations. Um... roadkill soundtrack and then there's um there's other stuff too so yeah the, the fuzz brothers there's a whole station dedicated to the fuzz brothers there's also black ass wayne and rum and big c on the soundtrack oh man okay um Will you not acknowledge the guy who is strapped to your bumper? I'm pretty you. sure that's part uh, of the right, quest. Willie, he just slammed right through the garage door, and then, uh, you know, of course, well, now he broke my garage door. Another month outside. Now he gets to repair that. Exactly. But, right, but when right. he gets 10 years old, he'll know how to do that, exactly. won't he? Exactly. By then, I hope him to be a foreman on a construction site, something good like that. At least. Build his own house, move out, you know, you know have some ugly head kids. Head he'll be on that path. Exactly, like his old man. All right, 96.2, Gear Talk Radio, Frank and Vinny in the studio, discussing weapons, giving you everything you need to know about every weapon possible. That's right, that's right. It's been a great day, guys. I mean, it really is uh, very informative on the calls. Um, and kudos to Vin over here for knowing a shitload about weapons, huh? Thank you very much. Frank, you know, slouch yourself. Yeah, well, thanks, you know. You got another weapon here? I see that you got on your list. The flamethrower. Flame I really believe that it's a versatile weapon. Anyone can use it. Our little nickname here in the studio, we like to call it the dashboard hibachi. Okay, let's say this, that you're driving down a street and all of a sudden this truck... <laughs> okay, off, okay, right? okay, I've had enough. I, I have had enough. Now, you don't want to launch a weapon off that's going to wake everyone I, I can't up do this. Door. Okay, you know if you can... F Listen, if you really want to find this, you can find it on YouTube. All of the radio stations have fun. Um, I'll show you some cutscenes, though. That was a fever dream. That was like a fucking fever dream of a video game. And yeah, the game the gameplay is ass. Just ass. Um 
Here we got some. So do you like my boobs? <laughs> so here's some choice cutscenes. Everything is ready, babe. Okay, we saw that one. Have a seat, Chino. Midway desperately wanted this to be their GTA. Yes, they did. How are things? Great, no, things are great, boss. Good, because I have some good news and some bad news, Chino. The bad news is I have a rat working for me. What's the good news? I know who the rat is. Hey, how you doing? Have a seat. Hey, how you doing? Oh, did you edit Thanks. this, Pip? I think I'll stand. See that piece of meat? He and his friends were making deals with the gauchos behind my back. I took care of him, but his friends are waiting okay. for him over at the airport. I want you to go take care of him. Don't let them get away. You know, I figure they're too dumb to rip me off by themselves. So when I find out who else is involved, they're gonna be fucked. I bet that voice is fun to do for hours at a time. Yeah, I was telling this guy what happens to people who steal from me. I'm not talking about just cutting off some fingers or even a hand. I'm talking about some serious pain. Then this piece of shit starts crying his eyes out on me. Please, please don't kill me, boo-hoo. <laughs> what does he think I am? Fucking Mother Teresa, a fucking boy scout. So I put the gun against his head to shut him up. Forget this. The dumb fuck grabs my hand and the gun goes off. Now I'm sitting there with blood all over me, thinking I was about to shit let too fast to go with just a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, boss. Funny? What do you mean, funny? Funny how? Uh, n no, boss. I mean. Get out of my sight. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> what? What did? What did she call it? Jawbone. She was going to give them jawbone? What was it, chat? Seems the gauchos have gotten their filthy hands on some blueprints. Steal them! I don't want a stinking gaucho driving around in some swanky new car. It's bad enough they've been stealing our weapons and selling them to Paradise City. Well, yeah, we can't have that. So, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what's up? A gun barrel up my ass. That's what's up! Would you listen to this fucking guy? As if nothing were wrong. Uncle Woody's a wee bit pissed, my friend. Whoa, 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 settle down, girls. Pissed about what? You know what he's pissed about, you fucking rat. I don't trust you with the package. I'll deliver it myself. Package? Voice what sounds different now. Talking about package? You got it all mixed up. He's got a good rep. Oh, tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll kill the fucking Oh, it's a different character. Yet. I lost Not track Uncle because Woody one has green hair and one has... I'm sorry. <laughs> mate. So he decided to go ahead and deliver I'm the dumb. fucking package himself. Chino, fuck, he worked for you. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. You never said anything about killing him. Yeah, well, there's a time to talk and there's a time to shoot, isn't there? Look, someone's got to make that fucking delivery and it's sure as shit not going to be him. I almost heard oof. Oh, that was productive. Fucking retards. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you can't say You can you cannot. <sighs> it's 2003, my friends. Have a seat. Whoa, whoa, now hang on a sec, Uncle Woody. I came here to work this out, all right? Not get shot. It's a pity. I kinda liked you. Okay, fine, fat man, if this is the way you want it. It doesn't matter to me if I have to kill you or not. You're just another fucking cockroach to me anyway. Oh, get, get him. Get his ass. Come to an end. Stevie a jaw. Oh. Good shooting, asshole. <laughs> I've had a vision. 
I have monumental plans for a new city. Glorious plans. Now that we've driven off the other gangs, it's time to rebuild. Rebuild a society the way... This is apparently Vegeta's voice actor. It all starts with calming this chaos. You gotta gain the trust of the people. Yes, gaining their trust. Every person between here and the Waste will be under sentinel control. I want them eating out of my hands. They will bow to me. That's a whole nother fight. Yes, in time this will all be ours. Ooh. What are we gonna do about Mason, boss? He's growing too big for his britches. You know he's going directly against your orders. <laughs> Not to worry. I'll deal with him soon enough. He doesn't see that they're cattle. They can't think for themselves. I brought them order. I drove out the chaos. I can set up a little. Accident. I must kill chaos. Unless you want to take care of it, boss. Yes, yes. I'll take care of it. I am your drill instructor. Oh God. From now on, you pukes will respond to me with oh. sir. Do Dear you Lord. Understand? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, this is gonna be a <laughs> so edgy. Get ready for Full Metal Jacket. It's gonna be awful. You into fucking robots. You will not feel pain. You will not feel remorse. You will kill the enemy. Who is the enemy? The Talon, sir. Say it like your life depends on it. The Talon, sir. <clears throat> Somehow I doubt you're here to join as a recruit, there, sweet cheeks. True. What? I heard you guys could use some help. Normally what? Our squad runs as a self-sufficient fighting unit. However, there are circumstances that arise when we like to use someone from the outside, someone discreet. So, you need someone to do your dirty work. It's not blank. You bet your sweet fucking ass. Well, then I'm your guy. <laughs> Good. We're currently at war with the Talons. I need someone to protect our scout as it travels into enemy territory and gathers information. It's <sighs> your assignment if you want it, cutie. Is that <laughs> the whole joke is just that? What's your problem, Private? I'm ready, sir! What's that, Private? What exactly are you ready for? You said that when I was ready to take you on, I should let you know, sir! <laughs> Mr. Satan. Go ahead! I need you, Sweet Cheeks, to steal back a briefcase from the Talons. It contains layouts for the sewers in Paradise City. Move out and wait for the target near the drive-in. Another Dragon Ball VA. Oh, okay. The briefcase. Stop him! Quality. I like how he just, like, they don't have very many recruits, and he just shot one-fourth of them. A minute ago. Time to find out how good a shot you are, soldier. I need a sniper for this next assignment. Very nice. Don't be afraid to choke up on it. Just stomp the other to death. The other no, half of them are gone. Wait, 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 wait. Say it. What? Afraid to choke up on it. Two hander, huh? Oh, oh, I used to live there. It was a nice place, one bedroom. Eeny, meeny, miny, ho. Holy shit, I found a I, That is a line of the century if I've ever heard one. Fuck. Very nice. I like the way you're holding that weapon, soldier. Oh, what is he wearing? God, would you shut up and brush your teeth? Somehow I figured you'd be a natural. Okay, here's the assignment. A Talon vehicle will be dropping off gang members to reinforce their positions. Follow the vehicle and keep out of sight. Take out each gang member as he's dropped off, and don't let any get away. I just can't believe this you game is real ladies. sometimes. The Talons will think twice about attacking again. Bad news. Warwick's son was captured and is being held hostage by the Talons. I want you to sneak in and bring him back. By the way, Warwick is anxious to meet you. It looks like you'll be moving up. Get your sweet little ass over to headquarters as soon as you finish this assignment. Hmm. Jesus. I thought that I was that someone taking a shit. Psst, come over here. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 
I thought he is he bloody. <laughs> He's all bloody. <laughs> oh, that, that's gold. Coming. Bant, bant. Got enough. Axel sent a message to me personally. He warned me against future aggressions towards the city. He's scared. Damn right he is. We've never been this close to taking the city. And I have just the plan to finish him off. Yeah? What you got in mind? Thanks. Is, is he gonna get finished off? Runs his mouth like a three-year-old in a candy store. Exactly. I'm gonna put an end to those broadcasts. God damn, Mason. You're definitely in the running for MVP. Go get him. Ooh, right there, baby. Looks like somebody got their hands on some of Uncle Woody's drones. Amazing. Okay. Programming for the following late-breaking news report. In an escalation of the battle for the beloved Paradise City, the South League gang attacked the Dreglords today with overwhelming force. The streets were littered with Dreglord bodies. Many eyewitnesses report that it was the result of one man, the same man that killed Gordon Grimm and now apparently has his eyes set on Axel. Other eyewitnesses claim that it was the work of a seven-foot duck, demanding that the <laughs> once popular television program Nine is Too Much be put back into syndication. It was that. Uncut. It's News the duck. on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillivray. Uh, a spoiler for the final boss cutscene. Guess we started with Blue Oyster Cult. May as well end with it. DMCA. Spread Eagle on the ground, now! You cannot escape! This is your final warning! Matrix, 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 Matrix. <laughs> Telling me I could dodge bullets? Yeah. Axel! Earl, all you know, early Axel, 2000s protagonists. If you wanted to 10. get rid of me, you should have done the job yourself! And now you've come all this way just to let me finish the job! You didn't have the balls then. You think you got them now. You spineless, worthless piece of shit! Look what I've built in your absence! Look how many lives I've bettered! All you've brought to this city is murder, death, and suffering! Are you calling enslaving the masses bettering their lives? This voice is Handsome Jack, by the way. about the fucked up fantasy you created in your mind, pal. All I know is, you're a dead man. Ha! You never do learn. I beat you then, I'll beat you now. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Bring it. Cool noise! Bitch! You fucking coward. And here's the ending. Ah. Oh. Really, just they're just getting so much out of this song. They 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 love it, and they're we putting it help. in. You spent all this money. That's been cleaning up Paradise on a City. big hit. May as well. All the gangs and setting things right. We need that kind of help here. If you can hear this broadcast, please call. Audio jungle. What? How long? How long are you gonna live, bro? <laughs> huh. Guys should slow down. Anyone, please help us. We need your help. Buckle up, kids. Here we go again. And it never got a sequel. Let's see. How well did this game sell? Roadkill PS2 sales figures. I really don't think this game sold very well, but some people in chat remembered it, so that's anecdotal. Uh, it says here, 
0.17 million total. Oof. That's bad. That's the PS2 version. Um, the GameCube version, I'm going to guess, did way less. Uh, yeah, it's 0 0.03. 0 0.03. Thirty thousand copies of the GameCube version. That's probably rare. This game probably didn't help Midway's fall from grace. I, I remember watching a video about that at some point. And the Xbox version is point zero eight eighty thousand copies. So total about two hundred eighty thousand copies. That's pretty bad. The GameCube copies went for about 115 bucks. So the, yeah, that's Lifetime, that's International, and that's across three systems. I mean, it's not the worst, but it's not great, you know, for a, like a brand new franchise. Um, they were probably hoping for a lot more than that. Also, how much money do you think they spent on, um, you know, like licensing all that stuff? Like the music and then, you know, voice actors, aside from just developing the game. So I'm, I'm going to assume the game probably didn't make its money back. Okay, IGN gave it a 7.7. .7. GameSpot gave it a 7.6. Maxim Magazine gave it a 4 out of 10. EGM gave it 6.17. Um, Nintendo Power gave it a 1.3 out of 5. <laughs> Oh man. That is something. I didn't know this again. I didn't know this game really existed. I didn't know what we were getting into. I thought it was just going to be like haha -ha, funny voice acting cutscenes and uh we got so much more than that. So thank you for watching uh this random Tuesday Sunday stream. I don't know. I would I, I don't know. I mean, this was allowed to happen because we had time and so why not well thanks everybody um i'm gonna go now i'm gonna go to sleep good luck in the comments section over on youtube you know i don't think it's gonna be that bad i i gotta be honest i have a feeling most of the people that watch my stuff are at least level-headed enough to see what that kind of thing was like yeah it was just it's 2003 and <laughs> again every single person is the target it's supposed to be it's supposed to be crazy and and silly and that's the selling point at the time i'm sure the comments are going to be great they're going to be fine they're going to be fine i know they will be yeah this going to be cool um well everyone thank you for watching and uh thank you for watching good night it happened by accident so i Figured I would finish the phrase, you know, musical phrase. Hey, good night.